Hello and welcome to the flip side. I'm JT. I'm Anna. And uh, we are going to do Anna's top 10 games of all time. For those of you that haven't seen our other video, this is Anna. She's my daughter. Um, she's up from college, so we're taking advantage of her. And um, I kind of gave you a list and said, hey, do you want to do a top 10? And <laughs> I did got, my best. I she got know. intrigued with Pub Meeple and started messing around um, and deleting game after game after game. And now we have 10? Yeah, I guess. I don't I don't know. I'm going to do my 20 um, uh, honorable, mentions. honorable mentions at the end after. as well because I had yep. a hard time limiting. My number 10 is Racco. Uh, See, I told you. What a great game. <laughs> um, it's a classic. I don't really know what to say about this. It says this classic, one. so oh, you're good. Oh, well, there you go. Classic Rackham game. Um. I played this one a lot when I was younger, and I feel like I was pretty good at it. So maybe that's why I liked it so much. I don't know. It just yeah, that's a great. <laughs> what is there to say about you Rackham? You draw Rackham. cards and have to get them all in order faster than everybody else. And so you're taking a card, sliding it in. Yep. Getting rid of the other card, and uh, yeah, Rackham's getting a great... it lowest for to highest. Yeah. Yep. Rackham's a great game. Number ten, Rackham. That's an old one. Old Number nine, another, maybe not too old, but classic. I, I told her say. she couldn't put this one on the list, but she did it anyway. I don't know what you have against Ticket to Ride, but <laughs> I always loved Ticket to Ride. I like the colors. I like um, the little tokens. I like any game that has little fun, uh, yeah, and little fun tokens things. and trains and stuff to put to place on, and you see it all grow and um, making the longest train and everything. So you. Try. Oh, it is okay. It's upside down on the back for some down. reason. So, but anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll fix um, it. <laughs> Nobody will even notice. <laughs> Boom. So, yeah, my ticket to ride is so old and it still has the Days of Wonder catalog in it from like whenever that came out. That's 2004, so I guess not that old, but. Well, it won the Spill the Jars in 2004. Oh. That was 20 years okay. ago, by the Never, way. That's an award. All right. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. Classic. I played this a lot when I was younger and I always loved it. I haven't played it in too long. And people steal your train locations and yeah. hate draft train spots. And... My number eight is Boom. Wormspan or Wingspan. I haven't, so the reason I have, I have both of them as sort of a cop out because I've played Wingspan a bunch of times, and I just played this for the first time like three days ago. Yep. Here. Three days ago. Um. So I feel like, and I think I like this one better, but I've only played it once, so it's really hard to to say. It, and I but, don't have Wingspan on the shelf anymore. Yeah. So. So um, both of them. The I mean, they're very different, but you know, together. Um. I love the art. I like the watercolor sort of style and i like the dragon aesthetic better than the birds too but i think the birds are fun as well i like the little eggs again anything with little tokens is really fun um but you're trying to build up your your dragons um build up your caves and get as many points as possible yep there you go right on worm fan's a good game so she um side note is going to school to become a Illustrator. Illustrator. Hopefully. So. Yeah. Um, and your final project is going to be a board game. Creating and illustrating a board game. Yeah. So it runs in the family. Uh yeah. Number seven is here to slay. Um, this one I don't have the original box with me. Luckily, I did bring it up here. Um, but this is a box that my brother made actually. For my birthday because he knew I liked the games um, and so he made like a cool wooden guy. box to hold all the cards for it and um, all the dice and stuff yeah there's cool dice basically it's just like a pretty quick snappy competitive card game you're trying to build up um, a Is team. Is it 1v1? I've never played. No no you, you played solo? it with us once. Oh have I? Um, I'm pretty sure and it's not solo it's a uh, it's just like you play with a group of people. You're trying to gather all these, um, get a bunch of characters in your party. And so there's all these little animal cards that are the different classes that you gather. And then um, 
you defeat monsters and stuff, but it's really quick. And that's what I like about it. It's pretty simple to explain. Um, and it's pretty quick each, each round. Um, so friends who aren't super into board games or card games can get into it pretty easily. And so it's just kind of a, a fun, good time. Um, and he made the box from scratch and he made the box from scratch. Yeah. He took the measurements and stuff and it all just barely fits. Like it's, it's pretty cool. Um, for those of you that like sleeving your games, not going to fit. It's got these cool latches. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, number six is Betrayal at Baldur's Gate, um, which is what we have here. But I also put Betrayal at House on the Hill, too, because I don't think either one is better or worse inherently. It's just a different aesthetic. You don't aesthetic. like one better than the other? I don't think so. I think it depends on what mood I'm in. Uh, sometimes I like the more like magical, this sort of a energy. Sometimes I like the haunted house aesthetic. I think it just depends on what I'm feeling on the day. But basically you get to explore a kind of spooky area. And uh, at some point, one of your characters, as you're playing with a group of people, becomes... Down, so it's not in front of your face. Yeah. Uh, at some point, one of the characters, um, one of the people who's playing, has to like leave the room and become corrupted and be on the opposite side. And I think that's just such a creative and interesting uh, way to do a board game. You're cooperative until a certain point in the game and then someone turns evil. It's really cool. Um, and, and I've had some really fun- Do you fun... prefer to be turned or not? Yeah, I like, I like being the evil one, but that's because I like control. I like kind of being in charge of the situation, knowing what's going on. Um, it's really fun. Sometimes they're a little unbalanced, the good and bad sides, but- yeah, That's true. Um, but it's always fun. I, I have lots of good memories of that one. All right. Uh, number five. Number five. Quacks of Quedlinburg. Um, I love this one. Um, I've been a little spoiled. I can't buy this one for myself because he has the, um, Hell, bought man. a bunch of like fancy tokens from Etsy, which you put Those aren't for Etsy. Those are from oh. BGG, actually. Oh, I okay. think that's where they come from, but yeah. We bought a bunch of fancy tokens and you pull tokens out of a bag. And so to hear the little clicky clack sound when you put your hand in, is really satisfying. Um, but yeah, you're making potions and filling up the spots on a potion bottle with these fancy little tiles. I love little tokens and tiles. And um, I like the gambling aspect of it, the kind of risk. Um, and it makes for a fun atmosphere with everybody playing because it's that... Uh, you know, am I going to go over? Am I going to be okay? Mm -hmm. And so it's all very tense and exciting and just a really fun well, one. It's pretty cool always because all the different uh, ingredients for your cauldron will change game to game. So you have different combinations you try. or Always something um, different. And we also just played this last time with the... We didn't play with the Herb Witches, actually, which is one of the expansions, but we played with the Alchemist expansion. Mm -hmm. How'd you like the Alchemist expansion? I like the Alchemist. I like the... Um, opportunity to get more cards i think it's definitely worth or not more cards more tokens getting uh it's definitely worth adding a little bit on there and getting all the different colors yeah being able to get colors. more colors and yeah cool good pick number four is quirkle Another classic. Another classic. This one I play all the time. I, I love Corkle so much, and I uh, have a fancy edition at home. This one is kind of old and dying. But What's that the fancy means... edition? It's I don't know. I don't know. It's like a collector's edition or like a, a anniversary edition or something. It just um, comes in a black box and it looks really nice. I think. Are the chips different? I don't know, cause I could have sworn that these were wooden at some point, but now I'm looking at them. I don't think that they are, but they're kind of. They're like all it is is a box or the oh yeah they are bag well, of wooden the the cubes. tiles in the bed the fancy edition are like tile like oh like a tiles like, like like domino oh like a material gotcha. kind of a yeah. thing cool um and so that's really nice I like that a lot uh, Melissa hates this game no she doesn't hate this game true. she likes this game unless she's playing with my mom because my mom likes to ruin every quirkle before it can happen. <laughs> uh, but other than that, no, that's not true. But it, yeah, that's true. She that is, like that is that. really angering. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll admit. But I, you know, it's very satisfying when you make all of them fit together and stuff. All right, well, that fit over here. Yeah. Don't want to get you covered up there. So. Uh, no, I should be fine. All right. Number three is 
The Crew. Bam. Mission Deep Sea. I love this one. Um, this is a cooperative. I'm sure you've talked about it. I don't Lots. Know. Cooperative um, trick taking. Cooperative trip trick taking. Um, we used to play spades a lot when I was younger, and that was my mm. first introduction to like trick taking and stuff. And this one, I think it's it's so fun. The kind of like thinking that you have to do. Um, Which reminds me, you didn't put Skull King in this. Yet. I didn't oh, put well, Skull, not yet. It can, no, yet, so. it's in my honorable mention. It better be I do really one. like. No, yeah. <laughs> they're uh, anyway. Um, they're in no particular order. Oh yeah. Um, a lie. Uh, yeah, this one's really fun. It's. Um, She's wait, already complaining that we're wearing this one out. So. The cards are a little sticky. They're not. Sticky, I don't, I don't know about the sticky. Wrong that's word. not the right word. They're a little rough. I don't know. These are not sticky. Uh, <laughs> sticky is not the right word. No, they're looking kidding. a little bit worn. But it's it's really fun if, if you're playing with the right people. Sometimes we'll play with some of our family members who are not so good at the game, and it gets a little frustrating. But, you know, when, mm -hmm. when like, uh, me and him and Melissa get going, it goes, it goes really it fun. It goes really yeah. well. Yep. Um, number and for all of you out there wondering, she is... As good or better at me than most board games. <laughs> so, between if I play with her and Melissa, the chances of me winning. I yeah. don't know if that's true, but you always play them first, so he kind of has the advantage. That's right. And um, I still lose. Uh, number two number is two. Small World. There you Small go. Small World. Um, this is another one that I was introduced to when I was a lot, when I was younger, and he has a lot of the expansions and stuff. Um, and yeah, the old sense. expansions. I had the expansions when you bought like the little blister packs for expansions, or they came in a little box. Now they come in like a like an expansion box, like the size of Racco for each expansion. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So they're still making stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. But and they have one called the newest version. I think it's called Small World of Warcraft. Hmm. It has all Warcraft races in it. Interesting. Um, and the map is modular, so the map actually changes. Uh huh. But. That's cool. I, uh, yeah. Um, you're expanding your races across the map, trying to take as many places as you can, and you get money for that, and you're trying to get as many coins as possible. Um, I like the synergies, the weird, like, combinations that you can get yeah. when the races and, like, the specials combine, and, like, it becomes really fun. Sometimes you'll get something that's, like, so overpowered, and sometimes some of them will really suck. Uh, but that's what makes it exciting. I used to, whenever I wasn't with him or like I didn't have somebody to play with, I played this on like the mobile app all the time. So I really have always gotten. I've only of played the mobile app game. a couple times, but you like it? I mean, it works good. Or most, do you just beat it most of the time? time? I usually beat it every time. It's it's not the best, but it you know got got my fix, I guess. Perfect. Um, How many more do we got there? One. I don't want to cover you up. Okay. I know if you want to take it, you can. Yeah, give me that one. Okay. I'll trade you for this one, just for just for because. Okay. <laughs> because this is the better game. Yeah. Although Ticket to Ride is on my side, so don't judge me for that. What is your number one game of all time? My number one is the only game we don't actually have here, um, but it's Killer Bunnies: Quest for the Magic Carrot. Um, I think this game has a lot of issues. Uh, <laughs> too many expansions, probably, and too many uh, expansion like. Um, side quests that yeah. you can find in the game but I I've played this a lot like I've played this a lot growing up and so maybe it's just like a lot of nostalgia I also just think it's so fun it's extremely competitive it's an extremely competitive card game um, it's extremely take that too I mean yeah it's, like yeah you're going it's brutal after each other, um, so. I used to play it with my brother or try to play it with my brother and his friends and they said that the rule was that if I played it with them I wasn't allowed to cry <laughs> well, that's a good rule and most of the time i did because it's just kind of that mean but it, it's fun um there it, it just it's kind of unbalanced and a lot of luck based depending on like if you get the really good cards or the really mean cards and stuff but it, it's just a lot of fun it's a it's a weird kind of energy that's fair um, it's got cool graphics i mean when, cool it, when it first came out and it went went from part to part to part you know you got the first one was a red and blue maybe or something mm -hmm. like that um it was a lot of fun yeah and it was yeah. it was good and then you'd get one more expansion would come out and another expansion would come out um, by the time you mix all the expansions together there's so many different things going on 
Like it's probably too much, but yeah. Again, I do think there's well, too much. We played of it. a lot of it. And well, and we like picked out the cards and stuff that we didn't want to use. Did we do that? Like, I think the strength. My mom did. Huh. She took out all like the the mysterious location stuff and like the um, Kinder Bunnies, I believe is what they're called. I don't remember. I could be wrong. But the the stuff that we just didn't want to think about to make the game kind of simplified and um, better in that way, she like put to the side and rubber banded in the box. Um, and maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. Again, there's too much of it, but I just love it. I don't know. It's it's a really fun card game. That's fair. And we'll we'll have Sam put a little Killer Bunnies right here since we don't have one. Yeah. But yeah, that's the only one I don't own. I did own it. In fact, like up to probably like two years ago, I still had it. Oh. So I just eventually had to clear some space. So, all right. How that's about any 10. honorable mentions you got for honorable us? Honorable mentions. I have like, in no particular order. I didn't. I didn't order these super well. That's fair. Um, we've got Takenoko, Skull King, Telestrations. Great game. Settlers of Catan. <laughs> Steam up. Phase. That one's fun. That we, one is fun. You taught me Steam up for Christmas. I got that one yep. for Christmas. That was really fun. Um, phase ten. A Phase ten twist maybe mm -hmm. is the better version. I don't know. Um, Horrified American Monsters, I think, is my favorite, but I haven't played the Greek one yet. American Monsters is better okay. than the Greek one. Um, yeah. Bang, um, Azul. I think I've played each of the four. There's four of them. Yeah, there's four of them. I've played each of the four games about once, so I don't even know which is my favorite out of all of them. But but they're great. But I love them, yeah. And Mall Madness. Mall Madness <laughs> is my guilty pleasure. So it's funny you put it on there. We yeah. used to play Mall Madness. It's just ridiculous. If you haven't one. played Mall Madness, you're just running around trying to get sales and clearances and buy um, a whole bunch of different things and get out of the mall first. Yeah. Um, and you get this cool little credit card that you have to swipe, and it'll tell you if you get money out or if you don't have any money. It or... has a voice yep. that like speaks to you, leads you through the game. Yeah, we really played fun. a lot of Mall Madness, yeah. and it's always hilarious. Yeah. So, rock on. That's it. Yep. Out of all of these. The one that's not here is Killer's Bunnies, and that was your favorite, so. Yeah. But they're all pretty good games, except for maybe that one. No. Um, but the rest I will let slide. Yeah. Um, you've played a lot of Wingspan. Um, we love Quacks. Mostly by myself. So, right on. Well, thank you everybody for being here, um, hanging out with me and Anna for a little bit. Um, go check out our other video. We did an unboxing of the Venice not too long ago, um, and that was super fun and very pretty. Um, but other than that, um, we will catch you on the flip side. And for everybody out there, make sure you take care and stay safe. See ya.